what up how's it going hey so we had pussy out there crying and sobbing uh because you know he about to turn the whole family in like literally not just the crew the family uh because that's what he considers tony he's the godfather of tony's kid my man was wired up in that motherfucker shit was crazy then we have a little bit more with tony's child uh anthony jr He's going through that thing, you know, that some kids go through, right? Like uh, brooding, as uh, Pussy talked about. And then you have uh, just Chris coming to a crossroads. And it seems as if, because I thought when he threw out his work earlier, that was it. But it seemed maybe this, I don't think that'll be the last of it. Tony gave him an ultimatum, but I feel like it may come back up. Because it's something he love. But it may become a problem for them, right? It's called Full Leather Jacket, which is a dope uh, name for episode. But goddamn, it's short as hell. That's also another thing about HBO shows. The uh, the timing from show to show. Because the last one was 56 minutes. Next one's 42. Then we got one that's 59, right? Like, it's it's interesting. This one is going to be a, a short episode. I wonder what's going to happen. It, full Leather Jacket, short episode. It may be some action in this one. Let's go ahead and start this. Georgetown. You know that Georgetown is a total reach for me. Oh, please, they'd be crazy not to want you. If I can get in there, that means I probably can get into Berkeley. Over my dead body. There are more Nobel Prize winners in the San Francisco Bay Area than anywhere else. Let that planet. girl go. Nobel Prize for what? Pack and fudge? Look. They, uh, you know that you can go anywhere fuck you is he want doing? to go to college. But I'll tell you what I'm not going to pay for, and that's Berkeley. I want to go to Harvard. That's some weirdo shit. Well, you may get to see them on television, but that's about it. This motherfucker said not Berkeley. Like, you he's taking a firm stance against Berkeley. Shut the fuck up, Tony. Fucking renting, Jake. I'm gonna kick the rest of your head in. All right, that's bent enough. Get the crowbar, pop the plate. The adrenaline affects everybody differently. Big pussy Bob and Cero, he started out as a cab burglar. The time he left a load so big, cop thought a bear was in the place. <laughs> pussy Bob and Cero started off chipping safes like this? Until he stepped up for Johnny Soprano during the unrest of 83. What is this obsession with Berkeley? What, is she trying to get away from us? Absolutely. Yes. That's her job. How do you think Hunter Scangarello got into Reed College? Her uncle, that's how. Grades, great SAT scores, it's not enough anymore. It's all who you know or how many buildings you give. So what do you want me to do, huh? I want to talk to you about Beansy Gator. You know, he may never walk again. Never say never. Well, he gets home from rehab soon, poor motherfucker. You should help him out. You know, you make the place, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, handicap accessible. Yeah, maybe when I'm over there, I can fuck his wife. Come on, Richie. You're a fucking captain now. Are you fucking serious? Richie, it's a gesture. The man has a lot of friends. Yeah, you're out of your fucking minds. Don't take that attitude, Richie. Hey, you're gonna build Beansy a ramp. I'll build a ramp up to your ass. Drive a line now. Look at him in the back. Like my man was ready for whatever. Once his man, once his man started popping crazy, he was like, "Is it about to go down?" The other day, I am at the Willowbrook Mall and I see you going on the down escalator, and I'm yelling, "Genie, genie!" And that's when I realized that it was your sister. Genie, I need to ask you a favor. I was wondering if you would ask your sister to write Meadow a letter of recommendation. Is that too forward? My sister, she's so busy. That's all. Really, Jean, if there is any way you could find your way to helping me out here. Alaska. Thank you, Jeannie. I'll let you get back to your plants. <laughs> she ain't asking shit. Could you excuse us for a moment, dear? No. Are you all right, Mr. Gator? He's fine. Just stay right out in the hall. What do you want? Why don't you fucking kill me, you cocksucker? Christ's sake, look what you did to me. Whose idea was the ramp? If you need help, I'll fucking help you. You talk to me. I don't want jack shit from you. I'll leave. But if you go crying to Tony Soprano one more time, if you open your mouth, I'm gonna send your arms where your legs are. I'm dialing 911. Why should I listen to you? So you can dump another glass of wine in your soup and embarrass me in front of a whole restaurant? Give me the phone. Go in the other room. Ow. Yo, he just shoved your Ow. mama. <laughs> the I want to marry you. What? I mean it, Adriana. Chris is wild. He you. shoved her mama and said, I, I want to marry, marry you. Got your ring and everything. Sure. I bet it was in Zane's window this morning. I bet there's bits of broken glass in it. Oh, my God. Chris, 
so far? It's three carrots. I'm telling them about the tapes. Oh, well, you're in on this. 10,000 units. What's Johnny Sachs say about that? Fuck New York. So what brings you to an English-speaking neighborhood? Fucking winghead came to see me. Said I gotta build a fucking ramp on Beansy's house. Yeah, I know. Wait, uh, this was your idea? It's only rocking a Bill Cosby sweater. Beansy Gator would still be selling nickel bags on Jefferson Avenue if it wasn't for Jackie. Richie, build Beansy the ramp. Terrible accident that kid had. Yeah, it's done. I got something for you. What's this? What's this? It's the jacket. The jacket. The jacket. I took off Rocco DeMeo. Cocksucker had the toughest reputation in Essex County, but he never came back after I got through with him. Nobody believed with my size I could carry this jacket. But with the belt, it was like Rommel. It's a nice jacket. Hmm. I got to let go of the past. You know? Like the how he says, you got to shut one door before another one can open. That's it. That's it. Oh! <laughs> huh? That jacket was fire <laughs> back in the day, back in the day, back you in the day. You look like Robert Evans over here. <laughs> you see Uncle Julia, he said, oh. Thanks. <laughs> Don't do that to her, yo. Oh, uh, yeah, don't do that to her. Y'all are fucking weirdos. There's no two sides to this for me. I don't give a fuck. Oh, their kids, they miss them. My kid want to go someplace? Go. Oh, listen. Tony's cut from this thing and that one that comes out of your end, not mine. That's how it is in the beginning. I laid out my whole take on the diamond for aid anyway. She loves me, and these are her childbearing years. I don't see myself getting married, though. I get all the whole cake I need, and I can hire somebody to wash my dishes and iron my shirts. She going to get it? She better. That's bullshit, man. <laughs> she get that tomato metal like, what? Mama, you doodled on this? Look at these motherfuckers. We had to put in the ramp. What ramp? For your husband. Oh, you're from rehab? Goddamn, uh, big pun and fat Joe. <laughs> and we we're also supposed to uh, alter the uh, toilets. Who sent you over here? Uh, Richie April. We should be done by the time Beansy's home from the hospital, Mrs. Gator. Get out of here. I don't want anything to do with that man after what he did to Peter. Oh, no. She's got her problems, but I'm not going to tell Richie this is not getting done. Right. It's fucking good to meet you, Richie. My cousin Louis Gismonti worked with the prison sign shop no. in New Jersey State. Oh, yeah, Lou. You've been doing some things with Christopher Montesante, huh? Hey, you know, this and that. Oh, the attitude no. on that camel nose fuck. He ever lays his hand on my niece again, I'm gonna tear him apart piece by piece. Did you ever notice he's the only motherfucker who can smoke a cigarette in the rain with his hands tied behind his back? That nose is uh, a natural canopy. <laughs> You know, the kid has his good points. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not saying anything against him. He's my homie. You what? He lives up near me. Well, why didn't you say that? If you want to talk like a fucking million, uh, I'll I was... send you to slip and fall school. The gangster's wife? I'm sorry. She just blindsided me in the backyard, and what was I supposed to say? That I'm busy, which I am. You do it all the time. Bring gangsters onto the Georgetown campus? I don't think so. Oh, spare me the elitist bullshit. Carmela, ask me, Joan. What are you, frightened? So what am I supposed to say? That I'm writing a letter for someone else, which I am. A wonderful young Dominican boy from the projects with a 5.2 average. <laughs> Why she had to say all that? Just deal with it, Jeannie, okay? You, come over and sit with me and Anthony and let Janice's friend sit at the foot. What? Grandpa, after dinner, Hot Wheels? Oof. Uh. Well, I hope everyone's hungry for crown roast. Oh, let me help. No, 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 Ma, sit down, sit down, sit down. Janice, sit. I have everything under control. Oh, Janice, sit. Really. Sit. I gave your little brother a beautiful leather jacket. Uh, you still liking the jacket tone? <sighs> it's terrific, Rich. What happened to this? I spoke to my sister about the letter for Meadow. And she don't and fuck she's with sorry, you? But she just can't do it. I'm sorry. She can't. Why not? She don't want to. Well, because she already just wrote say she don't want to. someone else. A wonderful young Dominican man. 
Oh. From the housing project, crack addict mother. Oh, big it. Cerebral palsy. Worse. Okay, what else? A club foot. Who was that? Can't send to what, mom? It's nothing. 